Hello and welcome to the Excel tip videos. Today in this lesson, we will learn how to insert a line break in the same cell in Excel. So let's say we have the text Excel forum in cell A1 and what we want is to move the last word to a new line in the same cell. So the first way of doing this is to select the cell A1, then go to home menu and click on wrap text. The moment we click on wrap text, Excel would insert a line break and would move forum to a new line in the same cell. But if you have more than two words, Excel might split it according to the cell width. Another way of doing this, let's say we again type Excel forum here in cell A5. Select the cell and double click on it to get into the edit mode. We can also use the keyboard shortcut F2. Now we would go to the position where we want to insert line break. So in this case, we want it after Excel and the remaining text, whatever is after cursor to move into the second line. So we would use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus enter. As soon as we hit this key combination, Excel would insert a line break and would automatically move the second word, whatever is after the cursor to a new line in the same cell. So we hit enter and we can see the first word Excel in first line and forum after the line break. We can also follow the same method while typing. Let's say we have to type this is the best side. We want the line break after this is and the best. So after typing this is stop and press alt plus enter to insert a line break. We can see that the cursor has been moved to the second line in the same cell. We will resume typing and we'll type the best and once again we will hit alt plus enter and we'll type side. Moment we hit enter, we can clearly see that the text in the cell has two line breaks wherever we use Alt plus enter. So far we have talked about if we manually have to insert a line break. But what if we have to combine the text using a function? For an example, here we have a small employee database along with their addresses in different cells. So we have the employee name, house number, street, city country and then pin code. What we want in column G is to have the complete address but with the line breaks. So and the expected format to be house number and then in next line it should be street, then city, then country and in last pin code. So to combine all address elements we will use the concatenate function and then to add extra line we will use the character functions technique. So Let's type concatenate function, then go to B2 and now this text to field here we will not insert any spaces. Instead of space, we will use here character function and to add a line into the cell, we will use 10 and we will copy this so that no need to type again and again and we will go to C2 and then we we'll copy paste this then G2 paste this wait let me comma then here then again type and then pin code now we do not want any line break after the pin code so we will close the parenthesis and we'll hit enter now when we hit enter we still see the same thing but see what happens as soon as we click on the wrap text we see line breaks after every address element it is very important that to make sure wrap text is enabled else it will not work. In case if we remove this, we would see that it doesn't work. Now go back and again click on wrap text and drag this formula to the last. So this is how we can introduce a line break if we combine any text choosing function. We hope you found this lesson informative. We shall meet in our next lesson. Till then happy learning and have a nice day.